So excellent. All right, so we're going to talk about another kind of 11 o'clock number. Yes. As well as the fact that I love that you unabashedly start the show with the fact that a character is hot. <laughs> but just, just, let's just put it out there. You know, no beating around the bush for you, Dave Malloy. No, no. So, uh, so talk to us a little bit about, you know, the sex up. Totally, yeah, yeah. And so one, one thing that, you know, uh, Rachel Chavkin, who I believe is in the house somewhere tonight. Yay! Make yourself known, Rachel. One thing that we Yay! definitely talk Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Congratulations. That's the director of the show, by the way. Right. Um, but one thing we definitely talked about early on when constructing the show was like how to take a show that like plays with a lot of like, you know, uh, man, woman, stereotypical traits and uh, misogynistic sort of things. And how do you like put that on its head in a little bit in some way? And so one of the ways we decided was we actually took a very different take on Anatole than is typically portrayed in like most film adaptations of War and Peace. And for us, like Anatole wanted to be not just this guy who like who would fuck every woman in the room, but who would fuck every man in the room. He was this guy who was just going to be just oozing with sexuality of all kinds. And so for us, like the two touchstones for the conception of Anatole were very much David Bowie and Hedwig. Hard to argue with that. And Hedwig, I think, also has, as we were talking about this 11 o'clock number idea, um, one of the most ravishing kind of other kind of 11 o'clock numbers, where there actually is a big character turn that happens at the end of the show, which I think you could argue in our show is either Pierre and Natasha or Great Count of 1812, or maybe Dustin Ashes, which is an act one. <laughs> I didn't know. <remember. laughs> so anyway, so we're going to do a song from Hedwig. Yeah! Uh -huh. And guess what, you guys? It's going to be done by Lucas Steele. <laughs>
smash up all the again. Fire! Feel sorry for the fire emoji, fire emoji, fire emoji. I feel really sorry for the damn fool who's gonna have to follow that. 